In this segment, we have a uh, injured worker on top of a grain elevator. If we zoom in, you can see him laying there. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to get him down to the ground level. Now because of the way the structure is laid out, what we're going to have to do is bring him down to the two-thirds of the way and then um, re-rig our equipment and bring him down the last third. Right now the men are just going up to the site of the uh, victim. Top of this grain elevator was the home to many, many pigeons. So we had to deal with a lot of pigeon droppings. Now what he's going to do here is he's climbing above where the victim is. He's going to hang a System 9-9. Right now he's uh, paying the rope out. He wants to lift him. He'll be able to work him over the side of the railing and lower him down here to where these men are, where the ladder is. See, he's got his uh, cable situated there. System 99 suspended from the cable. Now the uh, worker here had a harness on before he was injured because he was in an area where you would uh, need to wear a harness to restrain a fall. But we are using a, a rescue harness just drop the free side rope down. Okay now the uh, fireman down there is ready to uh, lift him and lower him. Now they're going to just lift him over the railing. Now the red rope is the belay so that the um, victim can be held away from the side of the structure. So it doesn't, uh, you know, bang into it. Now the particular harness we're using here is our... Uh, number 1200 rescue harness which um, has a strap that goes around the back comes together in the front just above your waist you should maybe see the ropes moving here in a, in a second or two Anyway, back to the harness. It also has leg straps. So it actually uh, suspends the victim, in this case, in a sitting position. This harness can also be used for a lot of work 
uh, positioning. Yeah, they should be commencing lowering here pretty soon. Okay, there we go. Ropes are starting to move around the drum. And here we go, down. Now we use two system uh, nine nine rope rescue kits in this uh, training exercise. Uh, one that he's now suspended from, and then one that we have installed on the end of the ladder, the fire truck hook and ladder. So what you have to do here is just bring him down to the roof where the fire truck is uh, positioned, where the end of the ladder is positioned. And then we'll lift him from that point using the second system. You can see the system here, I think. It's just a little bit out of the frame at the top right now. And of course now it's behind the ladder. There it is. Anyway, so they're going to lift him again. And then they'll pivot the ladder. They'll rotate it to the left a bit. Get him clear of the um, decking there that they're standing on and working from. Now they've transferred the uh, free side rope to uh, someone on the ground. Now here's the uh, ladder operator standing on the turntable. Okay, now here is the uh, operator who can raise and lower the victim. You notice the ladder going up. And then if you notice where his left hand is, there's a red rope attached to the side of his harness there. That's his belay. So if they can uh, position him in such a spot, in such a fashion that... Uh, uh, he won't bang into anything. There's the back of the System 99 head assembly. Okay, now you can see the fire truck rotating there. It was late in the day, the sun was going down. This is a fairly dramatic shot here coming up. Start lowering him to the ground. Again, this is much safer to use the ladder as the anchor point. That way you're not jerking the guy up and down. Particular operator in this case, uh, aerial operator Barry, was uh, he's one of the best I've ever seen. But still, this is a much smoother way to bring your victim down. Okay, now they've just about got him at the uh, street level here. And um, here's a shot from the ground up. Same sequence, right near the end. Okay, that takes care of this segment.
Again, thank you for listening.